So here we have a covered patio or a covered deck, but there's a lot of different styles that we're gonna talk about. Detached covered structures, I love, and you're gonna see that. Attached covered structures to the home, I love those as well. We're gonna show you some unique patio covers that you're gonna be surprised. You have to wait till the end of the video to see them, but I think they might really blow your socks off with what, how creative we were for covering the space, especially tucking things under windows. So enjoy. Talk to you about the best patio covers for your outdoor living space and we're going to talk to you about the top seven styles of the designs right now enjoy probably the most sought after covered structure is the attached covered structure now it's interesting as i go and talk to people about outdoor living spaces they almost intrinsically desire an attached covered structure from the very start so an attached covered structure gives you the ability to step out of your house dry. Now, what an advantage that is. So if you strongly care about that, then strongly consider an attached covered structure because we can work with the design around it, but you want more destination for sure. So an attached covered structure is nice for that ability to just step out dry and you're there, you're in your outdoor space, you don't have to walk any further. You could even walk out really with slippers on or socks or bare feet. But once you're there, my only caution to you would be sometimes it feels like you're never going to leave that space because it's all right there. So that's why I love a fire pit. I love a water feature. I love a secondary destination because it moves you past just the exterior of your home and it moves you further out into the bones in the 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 organic area the the nature of your landscape so one of my favorite covered structures and one i recommend all the time on my channel as you probably already know is the classic detached covered structure but a detached structure has lots of different stylistic options that you can go with really you can pretty much blend any detached structure into the architecture of your home. So here we have a beautiful view of a small backyard. Now the homeowner was dead set on attaching this structure to the house, but I recommended a simple detached structure. It really framed the space in a way that allowed us to maximize the space. And that's what I wanna see as you're looking through these other images, you can maximize a space, an outdoor living space, much easier with a detached structure. Now the reason is, is because you walk out to the space. So you have a classic detached structure that you see from a window, and because you have to walk out to it to enjoy, now you're starting to use a lot more of your landscape than you would have used it if it was attached to the house. So. As you're looking through these images, I'm sure you're seeing some of the different styles, the different trends, the different abilities that we have to get outside and use the entire space. And that's what I love about a detached structure. So you can add a fireplace and an outdoor bar or an outdoor kitchen. Now these are going to get you out into the space. And when you're out into the space with your detached structure, Oftentimes you can have a, another living space off to the side, maybe a fire pit. In fact, I strongly recommend this all the time because it's the close proximity to the covered structure so you guys can kind of hang out at, when you're in dual spaces, but it also creates multiple destinations. So that's why I like a detached structure and I hope that you've seen a lot of images here that have inspired you to consider strongly doing a detached structure. Another covered structure that becomes an outdoor living space is the classic deck, which almost everybody has on new homes. If you have a deck, strongly consider your outdoor living space underneath that deck. Now, with 
A lot of places you might need to waterproof that. There are a lot of different products on the market. If you have a deck, first of all, consider doing an outdoor living space underneath it. It really is a dual use purpose with the deck. So you can really create an amazing outdoor living space as you're seeing in these pictures with a deck waterproof outdoor living space. You can add a TV, you can add a bar, you can add the outdoor kitchen. You can create multiple outdoor living spaces just right underneath that deck. As long as it's waterproof, as long as it's waterproofed well. Now one thing I do wanna say when you're doing a deck style covered structure is how to get down to the outdoor living space. That's a huge part of designing for the space is how to get down. So sometimes you will do a classic staircase down. Now the thing I like about doing a spiral is it doesn't take up a huge footprint like a classic you know, staircase down. It does give somebody the ability to get down quickly into their outdoor living space. So here we have the classic two room covered structure, a dual living outdoor structure. Now what makes this different is just size. It's just how huge the structure is. Now you can do this both attached to the home or you can do it detached as a destination from the home. Now what makes a two room or a dual room structure is just that. It is a true multiple space room. Now usually you can sneak it in a single structure but when you have a bar and an outdoor kitchen and a fireplace you really want some room to spread out and that might be best to do a true dual room structure like we see here. So you have the fireplace with an outdoor TV and almost what you would see as a living room with the couches here and just the ability to have the heaters there right behind is a, a water feature where you can just take in the evening. But behind that is your true outdoor bar and outdoor kitchen. So it's a true dedicated space for that. And that's the difference between a single room and a double room structure. So as you're looking through this, maybe it inspired you to do a dual room structure. Oftentimes a dual room covered structure, as we're seeing in these photos, do feature a skylight. And that's just because they do cover a lot of space. And even in the middle of the day, you kind of want some light to shine in there. These are exterior structures, so you don't want to hinder too much light. So uh, strongly consider that if the structure starts to get too big, even if it's detached. So you just wanna maximize the ability for light to shine in to really have that outdoor living feel of the space. So another structure that you can strongly consider doing for an outdoor living space is a louvered pergola structure. Now really with a louvered pergola structure, you kind of have the best of both worlds. You can do this as, as an attached structure or you can do it as a detached structure. But really what you do is you have the ability to, on a rainy day, close the louver so it's watertight. On a beautiful sunny day where you want to not necessarily be all shaded, you can open it up. You can have filtered sun come in and it kind of allows that air to flow through there differently. So a louvered pergola is a great option for dual outdoor living. Now, another caution I just wanna say with a louvered pergola is the expense. They are not inexpensive. They do cost some money, but they do have a lot of features that give you dual living ability. Another thing I want to say with the louvered system is it does not give you the ability to customize it very much. So really these are vinyl, metal, you know, they don't look that nice sometimes and they don't have the ability to kind of customize and make your own, make it match the architecture of the home. So something to think about, it does have the ability to do that dual room option where it's open or it's closed but it does not give you some of the abilities as some of the other structures that I've mentioned to have a true outdoor living space, an environment that matches the home, matches the architecture, and then gets you truly out into your outdoor living space. So another modern twist to a classic outdoor room is 
the modern man cave or she shed. Now these are super cool and everybody probably wants one of these in their space. But if you do it wrong, you will regret it. So if you're doing one of these, don't think of it as part of your outdoor living space. Think of it as another destination altogether. Here's another structure that I wanted to mention. Usually this is an attached only covered structure. It's kind of something that we invented just to sneak a gable underneath a window. As you've heard me say before, it's so important to match the architecture of the home. With these style homes, if it's a gable styled structure, like a home structure, you don't necessarily want to do a lean-to or some of the other structures. Like this situation, you have a window that's above the space. So if you don't want to take out that window, you have to come up with the creative solution. So we did a, what we call a waterproof wing on either side of that gable. And it gives you such a beautiful, really, structure. Just an amazing amount of outdoor living space. You really couldn't get this amount by tucking it under the window, at least in this job, without doing what we've done here. Another amazing aspect of this gable with a wing effect is it allows you to do a very large structure to match the gable of a home. Now, as you see in this backyard picture, this home is very weirdly shaped, but you have weirdly shaped homes everywhere. So you have to figure out a style that matches and in, in kind of blends with the space. So we were able to, with this situation, match the gable. You see that there's a gable in the middle of the home there with lots of hip and ridge. It has the lean-to style structure. It's just got everything you can imagine. So by doing this gable with the wing effect, it allowed us to get the space that we needed because by the way, if the gable would expand that whole area, it would be over the roof line now. And that would just not work with the house. So this size structure is what the client wanted. And the only way we could really do it and make it work is with this gable and waterproof wing effect. But look at the interior of the space and how we were able to make everything tie in with the outdoor living that they are looking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this piece on outdoor patio covers. Patio covers are becoming the new normal for outdoor living. If you haven't got one, I'm sure you're thinking about it. So I hope this video helped you to determine what style you would like to go. I would strongly encourage still getting a design for your outdoor living space because you could really mess up with doing a patio cover if you don't have a design first. So thanks again, guys, for watching. We appreciate it so much. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you shortly in the next video.